Hello, good morning to you. Here are some business stories on News Desk. Governor of the Central Bank, Dr. Masiru Isahaku, says the policy mix strategies being pursued by the Central Bank is working well for industries. Addressing this media on the at the 70th MPC presentation, the governor said the bank will continue to maintain a stable microeconomic environment. The AGI itself said that at the least we should maintain the policy stance. So it's consistent with, 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 with what we say. They didn't say reduce it. And if there's stability and businesses are beginning, it's beginning to take up, yeah, what it means, I mean, we are doing something right. The policy mix that we are deploying now, it's working in some sense. But we are saying our primary responsibility is inflation. You know, and we also believe that when you have stable macroeconomic environment, it's an essential ingredient. Essential. Huh? Necessary, but not sufficient condition for economic growth. So in the short term, we are focusing on reducing inflation. And some pain, the pain is there, but we're just minimizing the pain so that the baby can, can grow and crawl and crawl and crawl. You know? And when, inf yeah, yeah, when, <laughs> when, <laughs> no, when, when, when growth picks up significantly, you know, when it picks up significantly, you know, then we can begin to reduce uh, rates at some point. When, when inflation, disinflation takes hold, then we can begin to reduce it at point. Then, uh, Now, Unilever Ghana says it has made adequate preparations to mitigate the impact of any unforeseen uh, conti contingencies in power supply. The ongoing power crisis in the country has affected many businesses, causing some companies to lay off workers or fold up. In the midst of these challenges, some companies are putting in place measures to mitigate the impact of the power supply inconsistency. Ghana's largest producer and retailer of consumer goods, Unilever Ghana, says it has made adequate preparations to offset the impact of the power crisis on their operations. As the company's annual general meeting held in Accra, Unilever Ghana's managing director, Meiji Akutu, spoke to Joy Business. Actually, the change in strategy commenced in the middle of 2014. And if you look at it, by the end of 2014, we had turned all the negatives into a neutral, a flat bottom line. So we simply enhanced those strategies going into 2015. Um, specifically in relation to Doomso, if you look at our quarter on quarter results, you see that in quarter one, in quarter one, that did impact the business quite significantly in terms of our ability to produce to meet our demand. However, we bought a new generator in April of last year, and that significantly helped to mitigate the effects of doom so on our production. And so that, that really kind of addressed that um, challenge. She also indicated that the challenges the economy posed on the company in the first quarter of 2014 gave rise to some negative results recorded, saying, a change in strategy which commenced in the latter part of 2014 enabled the company to turn their fortunes around. For Joy Business, Sarah Josu. That's more business news ahead in the Midday News Bulletin. Thanks for your company. My name is Imano Apuaji.